Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. By the way, I'll do the full three hours tomorrow. I'm going to be on the nightly news tonight. A lot coming up. Alex Jones here, back in town. HarryDent.com forward slash Alex Jones to find the uh, unpublished chapter of his book because it didn't come out in time to get in the bestseller. The uh, Demographic Cliff. Uh, excellent reading, by the way. Uh, it's unfortunate, but, but denying these things is only going to make it worse. So we're here just admitting how serious things have gotten. Uh, but continuing uh, with our guests, there's the four or five minutes we have left in this segment. Uh, he, he was getting cut off. Uh, talking about he'd come on once he gets back from Australia. That's an interesting point you raise about Australia doing things better on several fronts. They're now moving to vote down carbon taxes. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing moves to try to repeal some of their anti-gun laws there. Uh, you've been there. I haven't been to Australia. You've been there recently. You used to go and assess companies, assess countries for a uh, major financial institution uh, out there uh, uh, like Bain. What would you say about a country like Australia versus China versus the United States? Well, unfortunately, Australia's biggest customer for their exports is China, so they're going to feel that very hard. And they do have a big real estate bubble that they're in denial about. But Australia's government has almost no debt. Like you said, they have such potent immigration policies, and they're attracting highly qualified Asian citizens that, that, that may on average be more educated and more fluent than the average person in Australia. They're one of the few countries in the world, the Western rich countries, that actually has a larger echo boom or millennial generation than the baby boom. Our generation's not quite the size. Many countries in Europe have no echo boom at all. Uh, and many countries in East Asia, South Korea and Taiwan, no echo boom at all. So, so there's some really, when people don't have babies, uh, you are basically cheating your future. So, so demographics will tell us which countries are strong and weak. Australia will probably survive this crisis better than any other wealthy country or among the best. And it will do much better in the next boom, especially being on the Pacific Rim. So I tell you, man, I thought of moving to Australia. I love the country. I, I sell five times as many books per capita, given the smaller population there than I do in the U.S. And, and, and they're great people, and I think they're really lucky. They have a lot of resources, and they've, just, they've got better common sense government policies over there on just about everything. And, and you can't even jaywalk over there. They're very civil. You can't speed. they got cameras ever. So, you know, they, they're, they're, they're kind of law-abiding. They have the best demographics in, in the Western world, and they're situated in a good part of the world for the future. Asia, China's going to be the problem in Asia, but every, every other part of Asia. But you almost sound like you're saying it's the new Singapore. Are you saying Australia is the new Singapore? I wouldn't go with that because it's not as much a financial center, but... But, you know, they are uh, a wealthy country and a major exporter to the whole Pacific Rim Asian region, which is going to be the biggest growth energy in the future. I mean, most developed countries are not going to grow as fast, including the U.S. We got much better demographics than Europe. But but again, we, well, we should be attracting high skilled people because because we, we have aborted our next generation. So we need to import people. I get that. We just don't need welfare moms that will vote Democratic. I mean, literally with five kids. I mean, this is this is national suicide. Yeah, we, we have our quotas on the high skilled people that we come over here and attract to educate in the best universities in the world. And then we let people run across the border. So it's not a good immigration policy. It's a way to destroy a country. Uh, Harry Dent, thank you so much for spending time with us. Sure. Enjoyed it. Look forward to talking to him later. And again, Harry's a really great guy. I agree with him on the economics. But you can see what a nice guy is from the perspective. He's like, oh, they got cameras. They don't let you speed. But, but, but again, it's that attitude of like, well, the system, you know, is out of control. It's corrupt. It's dumb. But, you know, oh, the cameras, you know, they're going to make people be law abiding. And, and, and see, that's so much of the problem is that is that you can always have a good argument for what the system's doing until you see it from another angle. Well, that was my point on the cameras. Uh, but all will tell in time.
I'm glad I was able to get into the broadcast today. Great job with the crew. I'll take a lot of calls. Got some big guests tomorrow. 11 a.m. Central, Nightly News tonight, 7 o'clock. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of Patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's begun and you can feel it. It's time for life. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed. To do. You watch, the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines of the Infowar. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show on this Wednesday, July 2nd, 2014. I'm David Knight. Alex Jones is going to be joining us live in the studio later in the show. We're also going to have Harry Dent, the economist, talking to us about what he sees as the challenges ahead. And of course, yesterday we had Peter Van Buren giving us a fictional look at the current situation in America's decline since the 1950s, kind of a retelling of the Grapes of Wrath, uh, calls it the ghost of Tom Joad, the story of the 99%. He looks at the decline since the 1950s, and of course, as uh, we heard Hemingway say in, in his book, uh, The Sun Also Rises, one of the characters uh, is asked how he went bankrupt. He said, well, gradually at first and then suddenly. And that's the way we believe this is going to roll out. Things are certainly accelerating. We have the collapse of the border as part of the Cloward and Piven strategy, strategized back in the 1960s to collapse the United States with a welfare state, an entitlement state, to rapidly increase that to the point that it could no longer be sustained so they could rebuild on the ruins of America the kind of socialist utopia that they want to see. And that is a common recurring theme to see people talking about destroying America so they can rebuild their socialist utopia. We went to see America last night by a 